Welcome to the Functional Skills Development Program at Shenandoah. Our program at Octane provides services for children on the autism spectrum. Did you know that autism affects 1 in 68 children today, which is an increase from 1 in 150 in the past 10 years? Within our district, we provide services for children with autism from kindergarten through 21 years of age. Welcome to a day in the school life of our children at Octane. Teaching our students to be independent is a crucial skill for development. We want each child to be actively engaged in all aspects of learning. In our experience, there is a direct correlation between student independence and student engagement. From the moment the children get off the bus, they are expected to be as independent as possible. Direct instruction is provided to further develop these skills. Opportunities for independence include daily jobs, hygiene activities, delivering lunch count and attendance, running errands, and care of personal belongings. Being independent and engaged directly improves their ability to learn in all settings. Major areas of need in our students with ASD are language and communication skills. When a student enters the program as a kindergartner, the biggest focus is establishing a functional communication system. Our students communicate basic wants and needs through a variety of modalities. These modalities include the Picture Exchange Communication System, or PECS, speech-generated devices, such as the iPad, and verbal speech. Throughout a student's time in the FSD program, they will continually work on expanding their language and communication skills in order to increase independence and interactions with the world around them. Initially, a student may begin communication with a simple one-word request and progress to carrying out a simple conversational exchange. Academic instruction encompasses all of the core subject areas, reading, writing, spelling, math, science, and social studies. What makes our program unique is how we teach these subjects. Our job as teachers is to provide instruction tailored to each student's individual learning style. For some students, this is a one-on-one -on -one teaching format while others learn best in a small group setting. We set the expectation that all students will learn and each member of the FSD team works tirelessly to ensure that this goal is achieved. The program aides who work in the FSD classrooms are integral to the success of students. Every minute of their day is devoted to student learning. Their responsibilities include, but are not limited to, teaching academic lessons, developing student independence, facilitating interactions with peers, and assisting with activities of daily living, including toileting and dining needs. All of these responsibilities are performed with dedication and professionalism on a daily basis. A genuine desire to improve the lives of the children in the FSD program is what drives them to be successful. Social skills instruction is embedded in all activities during the school day. We place importance in remembering that our students are children first. Our goal is to provide fun experiences so that social learning occurs amongst peers in all school settings. There are perceptions that children with autism cannot or do not want to interact with others. We find that when given the proper instruction in a caring and supportive environment, our students are able to make social connections with both peers and adults. I want a Fox. Our book is Fox. Good job. Here you go. For the students in the FSD program, speech therapy goes far beyond simply working on improving speech sounds. Many of our students enter the program without any verbal speech. It is the job of the speech therapist, along with the class team, to teach students how to develop communication skills. The CJ's winter. In addition, speech therapy focuses on building functional, receptive, and expressive language skills, articulation, and oral motor skills. During these sessions, they also work on developing social skills and building relationships with others. Hi, Miles. I'm just showing you. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing? This is what you're doing, sir. All right. I'll the service later. providers play a large role in the lives of the students in our program. All of the students receive a combination of speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and music therapy sessions based on their individual needs. Three, 
Sessions are run on a one-to-one -one or small group basis and are tailored to the specific skills of focus for the students. The therapists provide an invaluable service to our students that allows them to develop daily skills that many of us take for granted. The Functional Skills Development Program continues beyond elementary school. Students will have the support of the program in middle school, high school, and through the age of 21. In the middle school and high school, academic skills continue to be worked on with the addition of a larger focus on independence and functional skills, especially in the community. Hey Jeff. Hey. Where are you working? Uh, Hannaford. Gary, where are you working? Morris's. Mr. Sawyer's class is awesome. Thanks. They're very kind to us, even though they have a little bit of a difference. Um, it's been amazing to see um, how my kid, how much my kids have learned from the kids coming in from FSD programs because my kids learn compassion and all about the different abilities and how they're so much more the same than they are different. Having the FSD students in my room and having my children work with them, I find that all the children seem to be more engaged with children who are different than them. It's great because I think as they go out into society and they see more children that way, they will definitely be able to uh, accept others who have or who are different than them. It's been a really eye-opening experience for me to see how can I um, work with these children and, and have them really participate in a meaningful way. The teachers look at her specific needs all the time, they take their time, and if it takes a long period of time, then they're going to work on it until she can master it and move on. I really think that it's the one-on-one -on -one attention that has really allowed him to be successful because I don't think that he would have had the successes that he's had since he's been here if he were in a normal classroom environment with a large uh, student population. One of the fun things that's um, happened for me is, is seeing each individual child growing in different ways. There's no stress. She's given many ample opportunities to work with a uh, small group, large group. We, uh, we really like the fact that she can go into the typical classroom, meet typical peers, use them as examples. The children here at Octe from day one, if they've been here from kindergarten or if they come in a later grade, this is the new normal. They're really intelligent and funny and all of them are caring. That last year I realized that it's actually like having a best friend.